Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to generate the HTML extra report in the Jenkins. So in our previous video, we have seen how to run our Postman collection with the help of Newman in the Jenkins, right? So we just created one job. In the job, we have done the configurations. So we were running our collection successfully, right? So in the build step, we were passing this command to, gen I mean, to run our collection and to, to, to generate the, the basic report table format that comes from the human default one. Okay. So now in this video, we are going to generate the HTML extra report library. Okay. So before that, if you want to uh, use HTML extra library, then we have to install this library. Right. So this, this library, again, it is coming from the registered from the NPM registry. So you can, first you have to install that. So what you can do, you can go to the Manage Jenkins under uh, Global Tool Configurations. So here we have done the Node.js setup, right? So installation setup. So here we have installed the Node.js automatically on this version. And we have installed the new one, all right? Now we have to use our HTML extra report library also, right? So in the case, what we have to do, in local system, we will install this dependency, right? The same way we have to install the dependency in the Jenkins also. So in the case, you don't want to use as a install npm install hyphen g, you just copy only the, the library name, okay? So just only this part, which is Neiman reporter hyphen HTML extra. So here we have to use Neiman along with this HTML report library also, right? So initially we have installed Neiman. So now just to make a space, and paste this dependency. Okay, so just make a space here. Okay, so this is a command you have to install. Okay, so Neiman space Neiman hyphen reporter HTML extra because we are going to use both libraries. Okay, and just click on save. So now let's go back to our job, which is we created last video. So here again, we are going to the configure. So here we have to make some changes on the build step, right? So in the build environment, make sure you are selecting as an NPM, provide node and NPM bin folder path, this check option, because we have to run our collection in the node JS environment. So after this, so this is a command which will run our collection. Now we are additionally going to generate the reports. Okay. So the report, I mean, it is it is coming and going to place it under your workspace. Okay. So this is our workspace location, which will be you can find in your computer under this file location. Okay. So which is C program data, which is C program data Jenkins dot Jenkins workspace. So here you can find your workspace. So inside this, I'm going to create one folder called, you can create as a report or you can create as a results, anything is fine. So I'm going to create as a results. Okay. So this is a file location. I'm going to generate the report. So now let's go to the configure. Okay. So build steps. So after this, I want to generate my HTML extra report and I want to store it in all export on this particular file location okay so for that case what we have to do so i'm just copying this command which is hyphen r to generate the report and we are exporting on this particular location okay the results is a folder that we have created results in the workspace the name of the report will be stored as a report.hdf okay so after this you can see the post build action so you can go here and you can select the publish html report before that, if you want to get this drop-down option, you have to add the, this um, plugin, okay? So you have to add it the plugin. So once that is done, you can click on the add and you have to provide the HTML directory. So directory is nothing, this is a folder, okay? So I'm copying this particular folder and I'm pasting this path. So then I'm going to give this name as a report because that's where I'm storing as a report.html. Here you can see I'm storing as a report.html. Okay, so this is a location I'm going to store, I mean, I'm going to store or export my report. Okay. 
So now this index pages are optional and you can see HTML report title. This is a title that will come in the Jenkins page. Okay, I'm just clicking on the save button. And I'm going to execute this build now. So build four is generated. So let's go inside this and console output C. Okay, now it is installing the new man HTML. Okay, it is, it is directly start running my collection. Yeah, so now the execution is done. You can see the HTML report also generated on this particular file location. Okay, so here you can see this is a location where our report got generated. Okay. So now uh, let's go to the workspace. I mean, your job. You can see HTML report is available now. If you go to inside this workspace and if you go to inside the results, you can see the report.html is generated. Okay, by default, the Jenkins will not support anything related to the HTML content. So to, to support this, we have to do additionally one more step. So just go to the dashboard. And here you can go to the manage Jenkins. And here you can go to the manage nodes and clouds. So here right side, you can see this button. Okay, so right side, you can see this button. Okay, so in this button, just click on this button and go to the script console. Okay, this is a place you have to write, I mean, run one script. So the script also I will be giving in the comment box, I mean, in the, in the description of the video or in the comment section of the video. Okay, so just paste that command, just click on run. Okay, so now it is executed. So after this executing, you now you will be getting one notified uh, notifications like this. Okay, the default content of the security policy is overridden because of we are, we are running this command. Okay, this is a command that override the support the any HTML formats or HTML report inside this our Jenkins. Okay, so now let's go to the dashboard. Again, let me go to the job. Now I'm going to run it again. Okay, build number five is generated. Let's go to the console output. Yeah, this time it is very fast. So now let's may go back to the report. Yeah, now you can see the report is generated here. Okay, so totally I have three requests and those are summary. So all the detailed reports, how do we uh, see in the same in local, right? So the, the same way you can see it here as well. Okay, and this is a report title name coming as a report because this is what we have named as a HTML report in the class figure. Okay, so first thing uh, you have to install this uh, Neiman like extra library, which is a HTML extra library. So after that, you have to append this command and you have to additionally do this uh, post build action. You have to publish your report, HTML report to your particular post page. Okay. So then you will be successfully able to, I mean, see the report that's generating on the particular workspace on your Jenkins. Okay. So this is how we'll generate the reports uh, for the, our Neiman collection in the Jenkins. Okay. That's all about this video. Thank you. Guys.